Number 77. Explain why a buffer can be prepared from a mixture of NH4Cl and NaOH, but not from NH3 and NaOH. Okay, so in order to answer this question properly, we first have to state what a buffer is, right? And a buffer is when you have concentrations of, so I'll just put these brackets. So basically you have to have concentrations of two things. You have to have concentrations of an acid, and you have to have concentrations of a base. So when you have a system that has both values of an acid and a base, you have a buffer solution. But the thing is, there's two criteria here. The buffer, the acid and the base has to be weak. So they have to be weak acids and weak bases, and they have to be conjugates of each other. So remember what conjugates are, right? They're basically the counterparts of each other. So a, a buffer system can only be a conjugate acid and a base, right? Or a base and a conjugate acid. So let's see, can I make a buffer from NH4Cl and NaOH? Well, we know that these are salts, right? Salts are just a fancy word for saying ionic compound. So we only care about which one is going to give us the acidic or basic property. Now, when we look at NH4Cl, right, NH4Cl, the break is between the ammonium ion, NH4, and the Cl, right? So the break would be somewhere around here. This would break up into NH4+, and the Cl would break into the Cl. Now, in this case, right, which one has the acid or basic property? Remember, if you came from a strong acid or a strong base, the conjugate is going to be so weak that it's classified as neutral. So Cl minus comes from HCl, and HCl is a strong acid. And because of that, the conjugate that we have, Cl minus, is so weak that it's classified as neutral. We don't care about this component of the compound. NH4 plus comes from the conjugate base NH3, right? Or you could think about it as NH4OH, but you know, either way, they're both weak bases. They're not on your list of six strong bases. So since NH3 is a weak base, right? This would have still some acidic properties. And that's why we are only reacting the NH4 component. We don't care about the Cl. And then we do the same thing for the NaOH. But we know that NaOH is already a strong base. So when we break this up, the split is between the sodium and the hydroxide, right? Nobody cares about the metal. Metals are not the ones that are reacting in Bronsted-Lowry acid bases. So the OH is the only thing that we care about. So now let's write a balanced equation. We have the NH4, maybe I'll just highlight this. We have the NH4 plus plus OH minus. Now, this is just a regular acid-base reaction, right? The positive is the acid and the negative is the base. Remember, your acids always donate to the base. So it's, we're going to lose a hydrogen here. So instead of NH4, it's going to drop to NH3. And then the OH will pick up the hydrogen. So it would be basically OH2. You would have two hydrogens here. But we like to write this as H2O. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? Okay. So here is the reaction between NH4Cl and NaOH. Now, would this constitute as a buffer? We have some amounts of the NH4+, and let's just say that we have a little bit of the NaOH. Now, at the end of the day, would we get a buffer system? Well, yeah, I had, I had my NH4+, right? That was my acid. This is clearly an acid, because it has the, the plus sign here. And I made the conjugate base. So maybe I'll just say con base. And that's what a buffer system is. You have conjugates of both your acid 
and your base at the end of the day, and they both have to be weak. NH4 plus is not a strong acid, it's a weak acid, and NH3 is a weak base, and they are conjugates of each other. So that's why you can form a buffer system here, because you form the, um, the conjugate base here. Now, why can't we do that with NH3? Well, NH3 plus, remember, in the NaOH, no one cares about the sodium, so just be OH minus. But let's see what we have here. NH3 is technically a base. Whenever you see NH3, it's going to try to act as a base, not really an acid. But if you have OH minus, that's also a base. So would you be able to get out your conjugate acid from this? No, you can't. So question mark, right? No, NH4 plus is made. And in order to have a buffer, you need to have both conjugate acid and conjugate, well, you know, the conjugates, the acid and the base. But no NH4 plus is able to be made here, and therefore, that's why NH3 and OH is not a buffer. And another thing is that you always have to have two as, uh, one acid and one base on one side of the equation. You can never have two bases acting with each other. That's never going to form a base a buffer, I'm sorry, and you can't have two acids, that would never be a buffer as well. So that's basically the end for this. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day out there, all right? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.